Good morning, everybody. I'm sitting out here on my porch on this windy Saturday morning. It is cold out and windy, but we have about eight straight days of no rain coming. And temperatures getting up into the 80s. Yay! So this is a good day to talk about a very strange deal that we have going on in the book of Revelation. And since our epistle lessons are all coming from Revelation during this Easter season, I thought, well, this might be the time to mention it. And that is... Are you ready for this? Looking around, make sure I'm okay here. The mark of the beast, yeah. In Revelation 13, it talks about the, the mark of the beast being placed on your forehead or on your hand. And Wait a minute, didn't they just stamp my hand when I went to that concert last week? The mark of the beast. <laughs> well, you know, that's what a lot of people do. They get all freaked out about everything being the mark of the beast. It, it's, it's your credit cards, because they take your numbers. Um, it's, wait a minute, it's the internet. Yeah, it's the internet. How do I know that? Well, wait a minute, let's just backtrack just for a minute and I'll tell you why I believe it's the internet. Um, when you look at the number 666, it's, it's a coded language and you're trying to figure out what exactly is that coded language. Well, there's a thing in ancient Hebrew literature and Greek literature and even it's it's done in with English nowadays as well. It's called gematria, and that's where you assign a numerical value to every letter of the alphabet. And so the Hebrew alphabet had 22 letters in it, so it has the numbers one through 22. Got that so far? Well, here's the deal. Doing that with the Aramaic language, which the people spoke, if you took Nero's name and added up the numeric value of the letters in Aramaic for Nero, you know what you come up with? Let's have a drum roll. 666. Uh, but then uh, there's going to be somebody in the crowd who says, hey, my Bible has a footnote. My Bible's footnote says that some ancient manuscripts say the number of the beast is 616, not 666. Oh man, it messes that up, doesn't it? <laughs> Except for this. Do you know there's an alternate spelling for Nero? And you know what happens when you add up the numeric values of the letters of that alternate spelling? You get 616. Well, to make a long story short, that's why a lot of scholars believe that what John the Seer, John the Prophet who wrote Revelation is making reference to is Nero himself, under whom uh, persecution was beginning to ramp up a little bit in the Roman world. And it wasn't at its height until a little bit later when another emperor, Domitian, comes on the scene. But just know that, that, that a lot of people use that gematria, which was, it's very common and it's used all through the Old Testament as well. We'll see that time and time again in some of the scriptures there. But, but for a lot of people, and, and throughout history, just naming the mark of the beast and who is that uh, Antichrist, there's, it, it's just, it's open game. <clears throat> I mean, everybody from whatever person is Pope to whoever is President of the United States to whoever is uh, in charge in Russia. I mean, they're all they're all game to be called the Antichrist. You know who one of the first people to start that whole business was? Martin Luther. He called the Pope Antichrist. Well. We have to remember that historically he had quite a beef with the Roman Catholic Church too. All right, so let, let's just leave it at that. Um, but now, where where do we get to? I, I believe that the mark of the beast is the internet, because the internet is nothing more than the World Wide Web, right? W W W. Uh oh. You know what? If you take the numeric value in Hebrew of the corresponding Hebrew letter in the alphabet for W on our English, you come up with www666, the mark of the beast. I see it written all over your face. That's because you spend too much time in front of the computer. Oh, man. I mean, you can go absolutely crazy with all this stuff. But, you know, no matter what, in the end, there's a lot we do not understand about the book of Revelation and talk about being open game for naming the Antichrist. It's open game for naming a lot of the stuff that goes in there. And you can come up with a lot of, of crazy different things. 
but look at the basic message that's being brought forth to the people. The message is this. Times are rough. Times are going to be bad. You're going to go through some horrible things. But, but be faithful. Be loving. Be kind. Because in the end, God wins. And that is our story from the wild, weird, and wacky world of the Word. And it's a wonderful story because God does win. Blessings be with you.